Hi everyone and welcome to Web Step Tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this tutorial about generating signed APK with React Native. But first, what is the APK? The APK is a file we use to install an application in Android platform. So, what is the difference between signed and unsigned APK? Signed APK is just an APK with a binary file. This binary file has a private keys. As Android said in its documentation, it is like a digital certificate. So, what is the unsigned APK? It is just an APK without any keys or as Android documentation said a digital certificate. So the next question is why we need a digital certificate? Android requires that all APKs be digitally signed with a certificate before they can be installed. So if you try to install unsigned APK in your Android device, it will not install. So, in a short word, if you want this ABK for production, it should be signed ABK. If you want this ABK for debugging, you can use unsigned ABK. Now, enough talking, let's begin. The first step is to generate a key store. To generate the key store, go to this link and then copy this code go to the command line click with right and run as administrator yes and go to the C or any partition you like paste here press enter Enter your password as you like. I will put one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, re enter the password one, two, three, four, five, six. What is your first and last name? Ahmed Fakhr. What is the name of your organization unit? web easy step again web easy step what is the name of your city or locality Cairo the name of your state no what is the letter country will be EG capital it is the short code for Egypt press enter are you sure this data is correct yes right yes and press enter one moment please enter the key alias I will put again one two three four five six this is the password for the key alias again re-enter the new password one two three four five six now storing my release key to key store go to the C partition and see this is my release key dot key store. You may notice that about three kilobyte here, the key size, the validity, it will be validate about 10,000 days. Valid for 10,000 days. Okay. So what is the next step? Step two. 
copy the key store and place it under your project Android app. If you remember, this is our previous project, awesome project. And go to Android app and place it here. Like this. Now, after place this case tour. Step 3. Edit Android Gradle dot properties file how to access this file it is so easy go to android under our project and then you will see gradle dot properties take this file and put it in android studio then to edit this file copy this code like this copy and paste here and then replace the stars with your password if you remember we put one two three four five six as our password for stored password and to the key password step four edit android app build.gradle in your project folder and add the signing config to do this go to our project here and then go to android app build.gradle and again move it here you will see this signing config copy this and care for the curly presses and remember to paste it before build types the curly presses start from here and end here copy and as you see build types paste before it then under pell types release copy this line and under the two lines paste signing config signing configs dot release line paste here as you see step 5 go to the command line and generate the signed apk to do this, go to the command line and go to your project. Remember don't use this dot or slash cd android go to the android directory then gradle assemble release to generate this abk press enter And wait a moment. Congratulations, build successful. How to find the file? Go to Android app, build, outputs, apk, and this is the file app-release.apk. This is the signed apk. 
So this is the end. But before finishing this tutorial, I have two recommendation to you before generating the signed APK if you use Android Studio 3. If you see like this error into your command line, I recommended to try the two solution. The first is to upgrade Gradle to 4.3. How to do this? It is very easy. Go to File, Project Structure, Project, and Gradle version. Make it 4.3, like this, and click OK. The second solution is to use Gradle.pet assemble rather than using Gradle assemble release like this in many situations this solve the problem by making it dot bet the second trick is how to open your emulator without opening the Android Studio if you see here to open the emulator we click here and click run but what if I want to open it from the command line it is so easy my emulator name is Nexus 5 X ABI 23 or if I not know the name let's exit go to C users and your name here is Fakhr app data local Android SDK emulator this is the pass for the emulator copy this and write CD enter and enter your emulator name if you not name the emulator name it is also very easy run this code emulator list dash avd the name is nexus underscore 5 underscore abi underscore 23 copy this now run emulator avd and your emulator name press enter see what happened the emulator started you can save this code and paste it in your sticky note also an important note to save the key store once you publish the app on play store you will need to republish your app under a different package name which will losing you all downloads and rating if you want to republish again and in most cases you will do that you should back up your key store and don't forget the password i hope this helped you and if you have any question leave a comment don't forget to subscribe like if you like this video and thank you for watching see you next bye